It's the Puberty Panda in under 60 seconds. Maylin Lee is your average early 2000s preteen until her mom goes full Karen on a bucket hat boy. She has a nightmare and wakes up looking like Tanuki Mario dipped in ketchup. Her mom thinks it's her first time having her time of the month, but a failed spy mission at the school leads to the truth. Every woman in May's family turns into a large red panda whenever they have a strong emotion. But there's a ritual that can be done on the night of the red moon to stop it from happening. After kittens and lies, May convinces her parents to let her go back to school, but they won't let her go to the big boy band concert with her friends that also costs a lot of money. Good thing the school is obsessed with May's panda so the girls can hustle their classmates for cash. But whoops, the concert's actually on the same day as the ritual, cause Abby's 13 and never freaking learned how to read. So May hulks out on a bully and abandons her friends. Grandma and the ant squad come for the ritual, but a heart to heart with their dad leads May to keeping her furry side. She runs off to the concert and a cracked amulet means mom's pandazilla is loose and she ain't happy. It's pandemonium at the sky zone until May accidentally knocks her mom out and needs all the panda puff girls to help get her into position. With a mixing of music, the day is saved, May, mom, and grandma all make up and May uses her panda powers to raise money for rebuilding Toronto. Cause it's the Canadian thing to do, eh?